Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So before we begin Mass today, we do want to make an announcement that um, we have been making an announcement before communion about those who would like to receive on the tongue to come after Mass. Uh, though that is still in effect, we will not be making that announcement uh, starting next week. So uh, please note that um, I think most of us are daily mass goers, and we know that um, instruction. So starting next week, we will not make that announcement anymore, except on the weekends and maybe first Saturdays. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. John of the Cross, who was a doctor and a pastor and a priest. So let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the priest St. John in, a, in outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled, how goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. 
The word of the Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, <clears throat> when Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origins, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said in Jesus in reply, we do not know. He himself said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. So of all the people in the world living at that time and all the people I guess before that time and everyone after that time, Jesus Fix one person to give as an example in this gospel reading to the priest, chief priests and elders uh, concerning their question to him about whether um, John was of a heavenly origin, his baptism was heavenly origin or earthly origin. Just that one person of all the people in the world, Jesus picks John. And, and John really wasn't an amazing person. He didn't do anything extraordinarily great. He didn't cure people. He didn't go around the countryside preaching um, about Jesus or about, about God. He just stayed in the River Jordan and when people came by, he yelled at them, repent and be baptized. Prepare the way of the Lord. As people came by, the people that came through to him. And as we March on to these next two weeks, uh, the last two weeks of Advent towards Christmas, which is only a week from Friday, we ought to be thinking about that same thing. What did John do? All he did was to the people who came by him, to the people that he ran into, all he said was repent and prepare the way of the Lord. And what a great message it would be for all of us to give to everybody else that we come in contact these next two weeks. Yesterday, I went to a store. Now, do you remember what that is? Stores are somewhere you go into and there's people in there and you buy things from them, right? So I, I haven't been to too many stores this, in the last eight months, but... Um, uh, we needed something, and, and they had a good price and things like that, so, and, and we couldn't get it on the Internet in time, so we went ahead and, and, and went to the store. And this real nice young lady came to us, and she helped us tremendously. We had uh, to look for certain sizes and things, and she helped us. Uh, and then at the very end, when she got through 
before we left, both my wife and I almost at the exact same time said, Merry Christmas to her. And she, her eyes got real big and she smiled, a big smile, and she looked at us and she said, thank you and Merry Christmas to you. And what a gift that is to make somebody smile. And how many things can make people smile than to say Merry Christmas to? Unless they're just really, you know, humbugs and they don't like Christmas, they don't believe in Christmas. But otherwise, most of the time when you smile and say Merry Christmas to somebody, they beam, they smile, and they say it back to you. What a gift that is for us Christians to, to do during this season for those people that we come in contact with. It doesn't take much to make some cookies for a neighbor, to go visit somebody that if you can that's, that's sick, that's sick, maybe not in a hospital or a nursing home because we can't get into those, but other people that you might be able to, to come in contact with. Give somebody a book, your child or a, a, or a, a good friend or a, a sibling about, about uh, from Matthew Kelly or somebody, a, a good book about Christ, about living the lives of Christians. Just a little thing of those things of people that we know that we're, that we're connected with. That's all John did. And I think that's all God wants us to do, us, is, is, is to reach out to those people that come by us and, and uh, touch their lives a little bit more than what would have happened anyway. As we desire to give witness to Christ, let us bring to the Lord our prayers. For our church, that it may remain pure in all that she does, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian leaders, that they may work tirelessly for peace and justice in our land, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering rejection or loneliness, that they may find the fullness of peace during this time of Advent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all frontline workers who battle the COVID pandemic daily, that they will remain safe as they reach out to save others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Jerry Lipinski, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, receive the prayers that we have spoken and those prayers that we offer you in the silence of our heart. And we ask you to respond to them according to your divine will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them and to the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Excuse me. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.